Thanks for staying with us here tonight. So every football team experiencing some level of adversity during the course of a season. Injuries, hardships, whatever the case may be. Well, Nanzaman River did not play a single game in front of a true home crowd in 2022, but that has not stopped the Warriors from taking care of business between the lines. With its home stadium as a backdrop, Nanzaman River putting in the work. The sounds of football on the practice field but that stadium has been quiet all season. Lights out, bleachers empty as turf is on its way. That means even the Warriors scheduled home games have been on the road. It's like you barely anybody there, you know, and you just have to go off of your teammates and the people around you. The environment at home games is just way better, but we just uh, fought through adversity. Just transportation, because you never know um, with the bus situation. Um, in the great city of Suffolk, man, with our transportation, the bus drivers that we have, they're awesome. But that has not slowed this team down. The Warriors charging to a 7-3 and three record, earning the number two seed and a first round bye in the Region 5B playoffs. We thought we were going to finish better, but, you know, it's season center how it's supposed to. Uh -huh. We just do what we had to do. We showed sparks of what we could really do, mm -hmm. and the Kings Fort game definitely showed that what we can really do throughout this whole season. That Kings Fort game Nick Greer referring to last Friday's regular season finale, when Nansman River upsetting the powerhouse Bulldogs in overtime, a statement win heading into the postseason. Everybody in the state, in the area, our school, their school, the whole stuff was doubting us, thinking they was just going to come in and sweep us. They had to calm me down a couple of times, like, <laughs> Coach, we got you. Uh, we'll take care of business, and um, and they showed it. And if the Warriors have anything to say about it, they're not done. Taking it one day at a time in hopes of making a little more noise before the sun sets on the 2022 campaign. There's definitely more statements to make. We want to win the state championship of Virginia. We want it all. We're going we to work every day until we get there. We don't want to ride the end here. This is like, uh, it's a blessing, because you know, not many teams can get this opportunity. So I'm definitely glad and grateful for that opportunity. Yeah, good stuff there. The Warriors take the field in the region. 5B semifinals next Friday night against Kikatan. That game will kick off at Lakeland. So